Carmelo Anthony has an undeniable place in NBA history. One of the greatest scorers with one of the most iconic celebrations. Carmelo Anthony, three to the Carmelo doesn't even get a whole lot of space for Morris on a dribble. Today, far from the superstar he was in his prime, he remains a polarizing player, with fans always ready to argue whether he's elite or overrated. And despite having a resume that is comparable to some of the greats, he's still missing one thing, an NBA championship. This season with the Lakers, he finally has his best opportunity to do so. But entering year 19, would a ring really change the narrative around Melo's career? Even without a championship ring on his finger, Melo will be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Even if a national title with Syracuse in 2003 and three Olympic gold medals weren't enough, Melo's offensive repertoire alone should earn him a nod. He's currently 10th on the all-time scoring list with 27,370 points and is only 40 points shy of Moses Malone for 9th place and 1,226 points shy of Shaquille O'Neal for 8th. He also led the league in scoring in the 2012-2013 season, and every single player in NBA history to have ever led the league in scoring has made it to the Hall. But even though he'll make the Hall, Melo's legacy could look a lot rosier should he go out on a high note. Through the first 13 years or so of his career, Melo was the superstar player on the respective franchises he played on. He averaged 20 plus points per game for 14 straight seasons and led the Nuggets to seven straight postseason appearances, including one Western Conference Finals run in 2009. There's no one man that can guard me on this planet. You know, um, and I don't, you know, I don't want to sound cocky or arrogant, but that's just my confidence. When I got the ball in my hands with one guy, I feel like, you know, they at my mercy. In New York, a more savvy and grizzled Melo led the Knicks to three straight playoff appearances before things fizzled out between him and the franchise. Melo has never appeared in an NBA Finals game, let alone been close to an NBA championship, and that's on him as much as it's on anyone else. When the banana boat of LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh all opted out of their contracts in 2010, Melo chose to secure the most guaranteed money. In the summer of 2014, Melo chose to stay with the Knicks instead of opting to sign with the Bulls, who had Joakim Noah, Derrick Rose, and a young Jimmy Butler. Hindsight is 2020, but at the same time, whenever there was a chance to secure a better opportunity to win, Melo took the bag. Is this about money? Yeah, <laughs> it's about money. And that has done more harm than anything to his legacy. There's no denying Melo's flaws as a player, sometimes selfish offensively, often lackadaisical as a defender, and somewhat unwilling to compromise. We've seen those traits come back to haunt him at the tail end of his career when he was unwilling to adjust to being a role player in Oklahoma City and in Houston. But in Portland, Melo had somewhat of a renaissance in his career, finally accepting a lesser role and coming off the bench for the Blazers in a more well-suited position. And now with the Lakers, he has a chance to shake off any lingering narratives about his career, but can he make a difference? If I was just to walk away from the game before, then I'd, I'd have been at peace with that. I'd have been cool with that, knowing that, you know, I, I, I tried to win a championship. It just don't work out for everybody. But now that perspective is totally different. Now I have to win. Is that your way of saying this championship a bust for this Lakers team this year? It gotta be. Consider some of the past players who joined contenders late in their careers in hopes of adding a championship to their resume. Some players' roles were marginal. Future Hall of Famer Dwight Howard did it with the Lakers in 2020. Karl Malone tried to do the same with the Lakers in 2004. Mitch Richmond, a six-time All-Star, ended his career by playing two minutes per game for the Lakers in their 2002 championship run. Others, meanwhile, made major impacts. Marc Gasol was pivotal in the Raptors 2019 championship run, serving as an anchor to one of the most formidable defenses ever in his 12th season in the league. Jason Kidd was the ultimate floor general for the 2011 Mavs title run at 37 years old and in his 17th season. Glenn Rice was a key third cog in the Lakers 2000 title run, starting all 23 playoff games for Los Angeles on the way to his first ring. Even Metta World Peace, who had a massive image problem before arriving in Los Angeles, redeemed himself, hitting timely shots and being vital to the Lakers championship team in 2010. For Melo and the Lakers, his role is clear. Shoot the basketball. And LeBron James knows that. You ain't got to say nothing. I already know what time it is when you you hit me direct. Right. You ain't the, the GM ain't hit me. Right. You the GM, nigga. Like, right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he hit me. He was like, yo, champ, like, the time is now. And you felt that. I, I felt it. I felt like the time is now, right now. 
One of the growing concerns with this Lakers team is the lack of spacing surrounding the duo of James and Anthony Davis. Shooting will be a premium on this team, and that is where Melo can absolutely shine. He shot about 40% from behind the arc last season with the Blazers, the first time he's done that in seven seasons, and that should translate to the Lakers as well with James, Davis, and Russell Westbrook finding openings for the 37-year-old forward. According to B-Ball Index's lineup creator tool, Carmelo provides the most spacing of any forward on the Lakers alongside the presumed starters of LeBron, Davis, and Westbrook. And with Davis planning on playing center more often next season, Melo is going to play a vital role on offense, being used as a release valve for draw and kick situations created by the Lakers' elite playmakers in multiple different lineups. The main issue, as always, will be defense, something that Lakers head coach Frank Vogel prides himself on when it comes to the team. It's been their bread and butter for the last two seasons, and Anthony doesn't necessarily fit the build at all. It's on Melo at this point. A championship isn't the be-all and end-all for a player's career. There have been many greats before him who ended their careers ringless, and there will be many after him that do the same. But he's been given a chance in his 19th season in the league to put away any doubts about his legacy and put an exclamation point on a Hall of Fame career. He's mentioned numerous times that he joined the Lakers with one goal in mind, winning an NBA championship. And if Melo can provide what they need, hitting big shots for the Lakers on their way to their league leading 18th championship, then history will look back on his legacy a little bit more fondly. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button.